feel enormous sympathy with anyone who is mentally unwell. Is trauma culture taking over as cancel culture starts to dissipate? Today we are going to look at three top stories of high-profile people using personal trauma to hit headlines and sometimes score big money deals. Welcome to the Dumb Dumb News Channel. This channel is dedicated to reviewing and discussing news stories from around the world. Help me trigger the YouTube algorithm by pressing the thumbs up button, subscribing to my channel, leaving a comment, and sharing with someone you think would like this content. Sources will be linked in the description, so you can read the full details yourself. Let's read the headline, then watch the videos. Prince Harry says that global pain and trauma is coming to the surface, and that the world needs to heal from COVID-19 because we're all in this together. Harry drops extraordinary truth bomb on royals in explosive new Oprah film. Prince accuses Charles of making him suffer as a child, the firm of trying to bully him into silence, and of total neglect when Meghan was suicidal. I felt completely helpless. I thought my family would help. But every single ask, request, warning, whatever it is, just got met with total silence or total neglect. We spent four years trying to make it work. We did everything that we possibly could to stay there and carry on doing the role and doing the job. But Megan was struggling. I had a total psychotic break and was not the same girl, Lady Gaga details being raped by a producer and left pregnant aged 19 as she speaks on Prince Harry's Apple TV Plus doc. Producer said to me, take your clothes off. And I said no. And I left. And they told me they were going to burn all my music. And they didn't stop. They didn't stop asking me. And then I just froze and I just. I don't, re I don't even remember. <laughs> and I will not say his name. I am psychologically traumatized. Glenn Close, 74, says growing up in a cult caused all her relationships to fail as she makes emotional appearance on Prince Harry's Apple TV Plus doc. Because of the devastation, emotional and psychological, of the cult, I have not been successful in my relationships and finding a permanent partner, and I'm sorry about that. I think it's our natural state to be connected like that. But I don't think you ever change your trigger points, but at least you can be aware of them, and at least you can maybe avoid situations that might make you vulnerable, especially in relationships. Most therapists try to help you move on, Royal expert worries Harry is still very unwell because he's stuck in the past and talking so negatively, suggesting he has yet to find closure after five years of treatment. I feel enormous sympathy with anyone who is mentally unwell. I mean, it is, however much it's opening up, it is still heartbreaking for anyone and they want to keep it secret. But I think Prince Harry has overcooked his goose in a way because um, he's so negative about it. He comes across to me as somebody who is still very unwell um, because he can't move forward uh, in, in therapy. In my opinion, as we grow up, we have all kinds of experiences. Some of these experiences affect us so much that they leave lasting changes, feelings, and memories. Some might label them traumatic events, and these events shouldn't stop you from learning to understand what happened, deciding to move forward with your life and living the best life possible. I'm not saying this is always possible or even easy, and we can also seek counseling to help heal. In these three cases, these high-profile people are most likely making money from sharing their experiences, and I believe we will see more and more people start to publicly talk about some trauma they experienced for money purposes. I think continually showing this type of media makes others revert back and stay inside of their trauma instead of leaving it behind and moving forward. Those are my thoughts, what are yours? Leave them in the comments below. Please share this video for education and awareness. For the Dumb Dumb News Channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.